Hey guys, it's John P. Welcome to Geek Me. Today we're going to unbox the new Cintiq Companion professional tablet with keyboard. Okay, I'm really excited because Wacom sent me the new Cintiq Companion. This thing is really cool based on the specs. I haven't gotten to play with one yet, but I can't wait. So uh, I figured that even though we, we I haven't done a review of it yet, let's take a look at the unboxing because that's always fun, right? So it is a nice, a nice quality box. L lately, we're kind of spoiled because uh, we see nice packaging everywhere and we like that because it, it's... It makes the owner experience uh, worthwhile. These things cost, right now they have them on sale for about uh, $2,300 for this particular model. And the keyboard goes for about 50 bucks. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, but obviously if you're gonna spend $2,400, $2,500 after tax on something, you want it to be nice. So this is, this is the experience you're gonna get right here. Okay, let's get this box opened. All right, there we go. So first thing we do is we've got a little guide to tell us how everything's packed. Okay. Interesting. You know what's interesting about this is it doesn't look that much bigger or thicker than just a regular drawing surface. But this is a full-blown computer. So take it out of there and they've certainly put a lot of nice plastic packaging around it to protect it get that out of there okay all right my first very first impression I notice especially under all these studio lights that the uh, surface here is a matte finish which is nice so it's not really highly reflective and one other thing I noticed just by picking it up is that the edges here are kind of rubberized. They're grippy, so that's a, a rubberized kind of surface to make it, I guess, easier to hold. Um, even these corners, the little feet here, are rubberized. So I like that because uh, clearly you don't want to be dropping this thing. And I can imagine if you're holding it and drawing and things like that, it'd be, uh, you know nice and easy to keep a hold of. So we'll set the tablet here for a moment and see what else we've got in here. Okay, this is going to be a stand for it. So we'll uh, see if we can figure out how to put that on it in just a moment. Let's keep going deeper, deeper into the box here. Multiple layers of awesomeness. Oh, very nice. You know, I wondered if they were going to include a case because the last thing you want to do is uh, scratch up your, your beautiful tablet. Oh, that's magnetic. And look, it's got a nice, soft, fuzzy kind of uh, top here. So the whole thing is neoprene. Wow, it's really nicely lined. So I'm just going to stick that in there because we just have to see how that goes. So we'll slide this into its bag. And it looks like there's even little straps here for the corners. Keep that nice and tucked in there. Do that. Bingo, bango. There's a, oh wow, that's a big old pocket. I didn't expect that. There's a huge pocket here. And there's another pocket here. I'm guessing this is going to be for a pin. And this is probably where we could put the power supply and stuff. So we'll set that there. Let's keep going in our box. Okay, on this side, ah, you know what? It's a beautifully tiny little power supply. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Nowadays, a lot of people cheap out on these things and they go with these mag, you know, just ginormous sized power supplies that you don't want to carry anywhere. But that is very nice. It's tiny. Um, that would easily fit down in here without making everything too fat. And let's see what else. Well, here's the other piece to our power cord. We'll just shove that in there for now as well. What else do we have? We've got a little, what is this? A little booklet. Oh, so they've given us our uh, owner's manual, quick start guide. Uh, oh, free creative software, training videos, etc. And a nice cleaning pouch. 
So we've got those, and there's a little more in the box, it seems. Let's see what's over here. Ah, there we go, there is our pin. So this we will definitely need for drawing on the surface. Again, nice and securely packaged. There it is. And you're gonna notice that not only do we get the pen, but it includes a bunch of extra little nub things. So I guess if you ruin them, wear them out, etc., we can change out the little, the little nubs there. And to be honest, I have no idea what this little thing is. You got any idea, Ken, what that is? Something interesting. The little rings. Oh, is this so we can change the color of the rings on this thing? Interesting. I don't exactly know what those are for. Maybe they're just for uh, aesthetics. We'll play with them later. That just kind of closes nicely. And then this would slide right into the carrying case there. So, very nice. Now, one last little thing. I just want to see if I can figure this out real quick since we've gone through all the package uh, trouble of unboxing it. I really like that the whole thing fits right there in that one just absolutely beautiful case with the leather here. This is really nice. Uh, but let's see if we can figure out how to put the stand on it while we're at it. Okay, it looks like the stand has multiple levels here uh, that can be opened and closed. And this piece looks like it kind of has a hook to it. Um, so I'm going to guess... Yep, there we go. There's some little hooks here. So I suppose we'll stick this in there and do it like that. It looks like that can snap together so it can you can carry it with you uh, like this. We'd obviously take off the these little plastic pieces here. Actually, that's nice and I mean that is really rubber grippy. It is just grippy grippy. So now I'm guessing we can snap that thing and set it on the table, set this down, and bingo, we've got a we've got a little laptop now kind of workstation monitor here. So let's take a look at the keyboard. I'm guessing that it's just a fairly standard Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, let's take a look at it. This is the $49 companion keyboard. Now, I was not able to find this particular model on Amazon, but it is available right off of the Wacom website. So, uh, first thing I notice about this, it is extremely, extremely thin. You see how thin it is? It's pretty light and thin. And uh, I will have to see, I'll have to type on it to see how the typing responsiveness is. But I'm guessing it's up to Wacom standards. And it comes with a USB cable for charging since it is a Bluetooth um, keyboard. All right, a couple other little quick things before I let you go, just so that uh, we're well rounded here. Uh, I got my cheat sheet just so we can go over the specs. So this tablet is a 13.3 inch screen. It runs full 1080p and it's got a 178 degree viewing angle. So that's nice, especially if you're working on it and you want somebody sitting beside you reviewing or looking at what you're doing, that it's, it's not gonna have, be a you know, problem to see it from uh, the side a little bit. It does include an Intel HD Graphics 4000 chip. It's got one gig of RAM on the video side of the house. It's got an Intel i7 processor, 1.9 gigahertz, and it's got eight gig of DDR3 memory. This particular one comes with a 512 gig SSD. You can also get it with a 256. That'll save you a little bit of money, especially if you don't need a huge amount of storage in the unit itself. Uh, it says it has a micro SD slot on it. Uh, let me see if I can get this out of here. Um, let's take a look at the edges here. I'm guessing, uh, well, that's a power, that's, that, that seems like volume buttons, and that's uh, a, maybe the power switch, I'm guessing. Here we go, micro SD. We've got two USB 3 ports, 
and we've got a little mini display kind of port. We've got a headphone jack. Uh, looks like maybe a couple, maybe speakers here. So it has a five hour battery life and it weighs 3.9 pounds. So I would say, you know, it's, it's maybe a little bit heavier than a MacBook Air, but not a lot heavier. Uh, it's got also a couple of cameras. So there's a front facing camera here that's two megapixels. And there is somewhere, oh, there we go, a rear facing eight megapixel camera. So that's about it. That's the, that's the breakdown, that's the overview on it, you guys. I'm gonna give it a try, and we'll come back with a complete review. We might even get, the, uh, get our friends over at Wacom to come on and, and do a live stream so we can go over the details of any tricks and things like that. So stay tuned for more on Geek Beat, and you guys, thumbs up if you enjoy the unboxing. And I'm out of here. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot.